we want to take the derivative of the following function. And since I see we're taking the derivative of a quotient, we're going to need to use something called the quotient rule. What you want to do is label the top of the fraction as f and the bottom of the fraction as g. Now from here, what you want to do is take the derivative of f and g separately. So the derivative of f we can find using the power rule. You take your exponent or power, multiply it by the front number, and subtract one from the exponent. Doing this, you should get 14x as your derivative. Now we'll take the derivative of g. This one's a little more complicated. The derivative of sine is cosine, but notice you still have a function within this cosine function. So you need to take the cosine function and multiply it by the derivative of 5x, in which case the x will derive up and you'll just end up with 5. So now that we have all the derivatives evaluated, we can use the quotient rule. The quotient rule looks like this. It's going to be f prime g minus g prime f all divided by g squared. So all we literally need to do is take all the variables we calculated up here and plug it in for each variable we see down here. So this is the final result when I plug everything in. I did not simplify this at all. I trust that you could do that on your own. So this is the solution and that's how you solve the problem.